Assumption of the meeting of the Committee on Constitutional Commission and Offices of the Commission on Appointments in the third regular session of the 18th Congress is hereby called to order. We recognize Senator Pimentel. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. During the last uh, hearing of this committee, uh, an opinion was uh, expressed. So uh, allow me to uh, put into the record a uh, different perspective or a different point of view. Mm. You know, uh, the decided uh, argument last time was that it was the appointment of uh, ambassadors, but the appointees present or pending before this committee are of uh, constitutional offices. So on that, on that point alone, the idea in the uh, manifestation last uh, hearing may not even be applicable plus the fact that uh, upon reviewing the the transcript and the exchanges i i even disagree with the idea that ambassadors are the personal representatives of the uh, president i think they are not they are the representatives of our nation our country the the only alter ego of the president in the DFA is the secretary of the DFA. All the rest are career, they even take examinations, and some ambassadors may be political appointees, but the law even limits uh, their number. And plus the fact that since the appointees or appointments pending before this committee involve uh, constitutional offices, they're actually expected to be independent. And I think that word is found in the uh, Constitution as part of the qualifications of the holders of those uh, positions. So uh, the, uh, the appointees are independent. So who appoints them should not really be uh, a big issue for as long as the, the qualification of independence, probity, uh, integrity, our press, competence are present in the nominee or appointee. And then I looked at the I looked at the uh, the commissions where uh, which are involved. So, but in the in the case of Rizalina Hustol. So if we were to confirm her, uh, she her term would end February 2029. So tama po yun that the incoming president can no longer appoint someone to that position. But that's a collegial body, the COA. There are two other commissioners there. And I looked at the expiration of their term, uh, Commissioner Pondok, is February 2025, Commissioner Lipana, February 2027. Uh, both dates fall within the term of the uh, incoming president. So, meron siyang chance pa rin to, to appoint uh, commissioners in the COA. And uh, for check and balance argument, better, better three out of three, is worse than two out of three. So at least there's someone there not appointed by the uh, incumbent president who can, out of independence, probity, competence, and integrity, check the, the uh, incumbent president. And then going to the Civil Service Commission, where uh, our appointee or nominee is Carlo Nograles, it's also correct the term, had he been confirmed, would expire February 2029, thus depriving the incoming president of the chance to appoint for that position, but the same civil service, collegial body. There are two commissioners, uh, Commissioner Lizada, whose term is expiring February 2025, Commissioner Acosta, term is expiring February 2027. So still within the term of the uh, incoming president or the 2022 to 2028 term. So may chance pa rin po siya to, 
to appoint uh, commissioners in the civil service. And for check and balance uh, argument purposes, two appointing two out of only two out of the three is better than being able to appoint three out of the three. Uh, naman, and then, sayang po kasi because Ustol and Nograles have no uh, oppositors. There is no opposition. And, they, and I looked at their qualification. I'd see Ustol, outstanding government employee. She would have capped her long government service with an appointment as chairman of the COA. Well, that's a good reward for an exemplary government employee, an outstanding, uh, multi-awarded government employee. So, see, I'll make a manifestation that uh, if uh, her appointment had been processed by the CA, I would have voted for her confirmation. And then the same with Carlo Nograles, valedictorian, uh, sabi ng report natin, butan, butan na tao, <laughs> napakabait po na tao, walang ka issue issue, no opposition also. Uh, sayang po, I mean, uh, had his appointment been processed by this uh, commission on appointments, I would also have voted uh, in his favor. Uh, yung iba, yung mga may opposition, well, you know, that's the, that's the price that you have, you have to pay because there's an opposition. We really have to give time to entertain the opposition. And uh, due to the circumstance, the accident, the accident of uh, uh, having been appointed at a late stage where uh, Congress, the term of Congress is about to expire, Medyo, yan, I hope that those with the opposition Thanks. will understand you know, that the CA also needed the time to, to go over the, the opposition. But those who, who had or who have opposition based on acts, acts before they became appointed, well, uh, you, better, uh, you better prepare or... This, this is an indication of uh, possible questions on integrity. Uh, while those with opposition for acts committed while performing the duties of the office, this could, pa this could uh, be a reflection on competence. Uh, but unfortunately, this, is, this involves the COMELEC, a, a highly partisan activity. Uh, there will be winners and losers. The losers uh, most probably will not be happy with the performance of the of those running the election. So we are also open to this that you know that some are some of the opposition arising from the performance of duty maybe out of uh, uh, frustration or vengeance or uh, panira lamang. So that's why in the case of. Uh, the uh, nominated uh, Comelec chairman, uh, Saidi Pangarungan, who is like a brother to me, uh, uh, deputy minister ng tatay ko yan eh, sa MLG when the, they were replacing uh, local government officials with OICs. Alam naman ni, alam ni Saidi yun na there would be five people interested in one position. They can only appoint one then the four will be disappointed and will begrudge them for not uh, having been appointed. So, ganyan din po sa election, no? That's why uh, if you have opposition, oppositors arising out of the performance of your function as a COMELEC chairman or commissioner, uh, do not be disheartened. We will, but we, need, we really need time also to go over this opposition. So, uh, in the case of Chairman Pangarungan, uh, who is like a brother to me, I would have given him the benefit of the doubt for the oppositions arising out of the performance of his duty. So anyway, ma uh, Madam Chairperson, uh, my colleagues, uh, I think uh, all of this will be moot and academic because I do not even see the appointees uh, before us. So I think they know that Huh? We have four. We? We have four. We're, we're taking time for this. Ah, okay. So, maybe I'll go. So, uh, excuse me. Uh, how do I call you, sir? Uh, now, can I call? How do I call you now, sir? Uh, uh, um, 
what uh, can I can I fix already a title to the <laughs> not yet. <laughs> so uh, you know, po yun, ano? so so parang it's like it's like in the city of Prague, it's like in court, sir, no, where we are not allowed to uh, propose the questions. So we just we make of record our our stand on the you know, so. I have made my rec I have made uh, of record my stand on the uh, pending uh, matter before this committee if uh, we would continue with their with the, with the processing of their nomination or appointment so so thank you um, madam chairperson thank you very much madam chair may I just uh, um, comment briefly on the manifestation of senator Pimentel because it uh, happens to be uh, the discussion that we had uh, last week, or last Monday, rather, uh, if I may, Madam Chair, if it's all right. Madam Chair, um, I thank our dear colleague, Senator Coco Pimentel, spoken like a true incoming minority floor leader. <laughs> I, I gave you a, you have the title also. <laughs> but um, just to correct uh, the, uh, the uh, statement of Senator Pimentel, there was one member of COA. There was a COA. Uh, member being uh, deliberated on that time. So may I some constitutional office. Yeah, that time. I only quoted the portion of Senator Enrile on the discussion on the DFA uh, personnel. But but there was also COA at that time, one person. So yung kinot ko lang kay Senator Enrile was that portion where he discussed the DFA officials. Um, second, Yung Section 20 at alam po ni Senator Franken is non-debatable. You don't even have to ask the, our colleague to explain why he's invoking Section 20. The timing, of course, I did not say that I was invoking Section 20 during the committee hearing because that is not the proper time. The proper time is during the plenary. But I just said that wouldn't it be better that we discuss this further uh, until Wednesday? And so we are here today to discuss this further, Madam Chair. And uh, uh, I don't see any problem to, to that. Uh, yun lamang po, Madam Chair, na we cannot please everybody. Uh, this is a political body. Uh, we know that there is a request also from the new administration to give them that courtesy. So, as I said, it's a political, it's a political body. It's a deliberative body. It's a consensus. We seek the consensus of each member. So, yun lama po. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you to my dear colleague from Kagandio. Thank you, Senator Pimentel and Senator Subiri, for your manifestation, and that will be noted. I would ask now the Secretary to call the roll. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. The Committee on Constitutional Commissions and Offices, Commission on Appointments. The, the Honorable Chairman, Chairpersons, Cynthia A. Villar is present. Other officers and members, Ferrer the Fourth, Alvarez Jr., Arbison. Cagas, Tepeco Jr., De La Rosa. With all due respect to the Secretary, Madam Chairperson, I understand that we merely suspended last time, so I don't see any need for a roll call. If somebody questions the quorum, that's the time that we uh, conduct a roll call, if I may, Mr. In that case, Mr. Madam Chairman, I raise the issue of a roll call, of, of uh, a quorum. So it becomes smooth. Thank you. De La Rosa. Go. Senator Go, present. Lakson. Present po ako, uh, uh, sir. Senator Go, your mic present. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Senator Larson, Noel, Pangilinan. Present. Present. Pimentel the third. Four. Ramirez Sato. Recto. Revilla Jr. Subiri. Subiri. Present. Object. <laughs> Samora. Almario. Present. Villanueva. Pancho. Rilon, Advincula, Heron, With uh, five members present in person and uh, three members present online, uh, the total members present is eight. The chair declares the absence of a quorum. There being no quorum, the meeting of the Committee on Constitutional Commission and Offices is hereby adjourned. Is there any objection? Ha Hearing none. Yes, ah. The motion is approved. Ma'am. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, Madam Chairman, I just want to manifest that uh, I, I would have voted in favor of this uh, ad interim appointments. Kung natuloy po. Uh, just a short manifestation. Uh, Julie noted. Julie uh, noted. Senator Bongo. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much.